Okay, so this is one of the older laptops. It doesn't support GPT file system or UEFI. The BIOS, I don't think it has a secure boot option. So we're going to use a CSM or legacy boot Windows 10 USB. And I'll show you how to boot off that. So plug it in. Um, so your laptop may be missing one option. I'm going to show you how to enable that first. So turn the computer on, F2 or function F2 to get into the BIOS. And then go into F12 boot menu. You want it to be enabled. Network boot nobody uses, corporates only. And that's pretty much it. Exit and save changes. And what you do is F12, keep tapping F12 key or function F12, F12 until you get a boot menu pop up on the screen. So we can see my USB flash drive, enter, and that will start the Windows 10 setup process. Now, this kind of computer doesn't have a BIOS, uh, the serial number of Windows in the BIOS. So you will need to use the serial number that's attached on the bottom of your computer to basically activate this version of Windows. That's simple as that. So take a photo of that and then enter that during the Windows 10 uh, setup process. So, English, Australia, right, so this is an interesting problem you might get, it's good I'll show you this problem, so it can't find a hard drive. What the hell is going on? Now it's missing or can't find the controller. So in this case, what happens, you turn the computer off, go back into BIOS, F2, function F2, get into BIOS. Starter mode, change that to IDE mode and F10 save the changes and reboot again from the USB. And if nothing wrong with the SSD, you should see the hard drive pop up. Hmm? USB is missing. Okay, try another USB port. F12 the boot menu again okay let's try that again So the same process again. So, in my opinion, there's something wrong with the SSD. Because that is a second hand SSD I'm putting in. And I'm gonna mark that as cross. And I think there's something wrong with that SSD. Okay. 
Oh, hmm? maybe it was an improper. No, no, that was it. Okay. Out you go. We'll put an X on this. This is one of my spare machines, so I don't really want to spend money on this guy. Uh, we've got two SSDs. We've got an 830 and an 850. Let's try the 830. It's a 256 gig SSD. And let's do a quick test like this. And what we're going to do, we're going to actually revert back the BIOS option. Let's go back to F2. You enable the starter compatibility to AHCI. And we do F12 again. By the way, check this out. 25 bucks for 128 gig SSD. Jesus Christ. Fantastic. Right, USB not detected, no big deal. Retry. Look, 25 bucks, you can't go wrong, right? So let's get 10. Look, it's cheap. Let's get 12. Okay, going back to Wow. This is so interesting. I thought the SSD is a failing, uh, but it's actually not. One sec. Just uh, processing the order for the SSDs before they run out. So the hard drive most likely is good. How do we fix this? Great. 
All right, so needs a driver is to install. Let's go back to the BIOS one more time. There has to be an option to disable like some kind of a RAID or advanced hard drive controller. Let's go back to BIOS. Come on, mate. I am going to boot of a 1909 USB, Windows 10 1909. So this is the 1909. Let's see if there is any difference with this. F12 again. Okay, so if you get this, this is good news. Uh, so something about version 1909, sorry, 2004 of Windows 10. They may have removed something, maybe to not support installing Windows on these computers, which is super annoying. So here we're going to... By the way, I want to so, say I don't have a product key first. See if it recognizes the hard drive. Yeah, it did. Okay. So, which SSD to use? The one I've put in is quite an old one, so we'll use that. So now we can go install Windows, enter the product key, and delete all the existing partitions. We should be good to go. Alright, so product key went successful. We can delete every other partition in here. There we go. So that's about it for installing Windows 10. There wasn't actually an issue with the controller. It 
it's just Windows 10 version 2004. They've removed some chipset drivers which does not recognize other machines. And if you do have this problem, go ahead and get the 1909 or earlier version of Windows 10. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.